Hello and welcome back. Today I will show how you can uh, build your own database class so you easily can connect to uh, different uh, databases, uh, hosts, so you don't need to, to build a lot of code every time. I will show how, um, how easy you can build a safe uh, database uh, class so you have protection from SQL injecting and and I use a PDO maybe you already use PDO but need to to speed up your development or you maybe use MySQL I today and uh, need to uh, look on the other connector PDO it's uh, it's nice uh, for the way if you need to uh, select between the databases like MySQL, MSSQL, um, and the the other databases I can't remember, you can look on the PHP's uh, website. Uh, it's a couple of databases uh, supported inside it. It's make it easy to to change uh, the connection and the SQL code you you type. Uh, and uh, this is a class is a really uh, tiny but it's uh, make the work for you so you can build faster code and you have completely 100 percent control over your SQL it's not uh, it's not a framework uh, like another uh, open source frameworks where you can build fast codes and when you get lots of requests uh, your site is broken. This is uh, the class where you get 100% of control of your uh, database connection. That's the way I work every day when I work. I don't love the way when you don't need to think about what you do or, and you, you only need to type something down. So let's start. It. First we need to uh, create a new uh, file. We can call it the database because we need to uh, create a database class. Inside our class, we need to uh, to, uh, to private static uh, methods. So we need a method uh, like a username to our database. And we need um, a password. We need a host name, this local host by default, and we need a database. Right now we have username root because when you use the local uh, development, you probably have a root user on your MySQL. It's probably not have the password, and it's. I think maybe it's a local host. The database, I don't know. So by default, we have this setup. Always we can change it. We need uh, uh, functions so we can uh, change the the private uh, methods. Um, so we have a public function set username. We need a value input. And sorry, it's a static. And username equal value. If you copy it uh, four times, one, two, three, four. And it's to password and this to host name this for database for now we have um, for functions, when we can update the static uh, private methods, 
uh, after what we want. But we we need one thing more. It's a uh, it's a private database link, and we call it default default. Uh, this uh, method we need to use when we connect to the database. When you connect, we need to to tell uh, what we want to connect to. So, if you have uh, a MySQL, you can call, uh, you can set this uh, method as MySQL. And if you um, later in your code need to connect to the MSSQL, you can select back to. Uh, to the, the MS SQL, and here we can uh, select between it. It's uh, make it uh, pretty fast. So I will not explain it uh, so much here. Just trust me. Uh, do it this way. It will make your life um, much easier. So now we need to make it possible to change this uh, database link. Uh, set DB link value this self db link is equal to value now we need the single one to connect public st uh, static function connect and We need to check about uh, if um, sorry uh, try if we uh, have the connection we need to connect it uh, and if something going wrong we need uh, a PDO error. check uh, about if if uh, is it our self database object oh sorry we need uh, a database object here uh, yes db object is equal to null and self db link if uh, if a database object with this link is not uh, if not exist or our self um, database object with our database link is equal to null We need to uh, create a new uh, database object. Uh, this is our database object, and this is our link. Together, it's uh, creating the database object by uh, the link. So we need to to call a new object, db object, by db link. We need here to uh, it's equal to new PDO uh, sorry I have uh, a memo on the other screen and here we need to MySQL host is equal to self host name and database name is equal to self 
database and self username and self password. We need to set an attribute on our DB object by the link set attribute. What uh, we do here is uh, enable error mode on PDO. Uh, it's meaning you will uh, get an error if something is wrong. The next attribute we need to set it's a it's it's MySQL buffing. So you use a buffer query. Uh, PDO minus MySQL use buffer query for the true. By default, this is the false. So now, if if it's okay, we need to return self database object by the link and you have creating the database object it can now connect so we need to test it out require database.php database uh, set username is equal to root uh, username password host name and database I have a test database called test I use local uh, local host and I don't have any password for my uh, local test MySQL We need to set a database link. Let's call it a default. And now we need to connect. And it should be ready now. And we have connected. So thank you for watching this video. I will create one more. So following the next part. And if you like this video, you can like it below and I hope you want to subscribe my channel to get more videos. Thank you and see you next time.